So today I would like to offer a nice restorative practice. Um, so we can promote some peace and healing into our hearts and minds. Uh, we'll be holding the poses very passively and for long periods of time. I won't be talking a lot during um, the time that we're holding the postures because I really want you to be able to um, turn inward and really relax and heal your body. So um, yeah, I'd like to start with a little grounding and centering. So if everyone could come and bring their hands to their heart. We'll gently close our eyes and start to ground down into Mother Earth, growing your roots from your tailbone and all the parts of your body in contact with the earth beneath you. Thick, stable, strong roots spreading out in all four directions, north, east, south and west. Past the floorboards of your home, past the soil, the rocks, the thick clay, crystal formations down into the center of Mother Earth. Down into the core of our mother, feeling supported and held. You are safe, you are cared for. And we'll start to take three cleansing breaths here. So on the inhale, letting your shoulders rise. And on the exhale, letting it all go. Two more. Inhale, raise your shoulders. Exhale, let it go. One more. Nice deep inhalation and let it all go. Bring your hands to your heart and we'll start breathing in for the count of four. Three, two, one, and exhale. Four, three, two, one. Again, four, three, two, one, and exhale. Four, three, two, one. And a couple more rounds on your own. Feeling into your heart space. Feeling your chest rise as you inhale. And feeling your chest fall as you exhale. And we'll come to set up for our first posture. I did post in, um, I believe, the Ascension page that we were going to be using some bolsters, blocks, and blankets. Um, so if you don't have your bolsters or blocks handy at the moment, please get them now. We'll be setting up for our first posture. It's going to be a supported bridge pose. And I'm going to show two options. The first option is going to be with blocks and a blanket. So you're grabbing one block. And we're just setting a blanket or a towel over the block to give it some nice cushion. And then come to gently lay down on your back. Knees are bent, feet are pressing firmly into the ground beneath you. On an inhale, you're going to lift your hips and slide your block right under your sacrum. So right between your tailbone and your low back. 
Make sure you're comfortable here. You don't want it stabbing into your low back. And then you can gently bring your knees to knock into towards one another. And settle into the posture. I'm also going to be demonstrating with the bolster. So if you do have a bolster and you'd like to um, take this option, please do. You're going to have a folded blanket at your feet. And then you're going to take your, your bolster and you're going to sit on the edge of it. You want the bolster, like your whole bottom on the bolster here, and you let your feet come out on a roll towel or a blanket, and gently lower down. And put a blanket over you and just rest and relax here. We're going to take three deep breaths into our sacral area. So breathing in through the nose, deep belly breath, and breathing out through the nose. Two more times here. Bringing your attention to your breath. We'll be here for three minutes. So please close your eyes, relax, and feel supported by the earth beneath you. The only thing you need to do is pay attention to your breath here. Allow the breath to take you deeper into your relaxation. Allow your body to melt into the mat. Surrender to the pose.
On your next inhale, if you're on the bolster, gently bring your knees up and roll on to your side to come out of it. If you're on a block, gently press your feet into the ground. Engage your, your core and lift your hips off the block. Allow for stillness here. Lay down on the ground. Take a little mini Shavasana. Close your eyes. Find your breath. Still your body. Breathe in, replenishing your vitality and your energy, allowing this time for self-care is so important, especially during this busy time, crazy time that we're living through right now. Gently roll on to your side. You're gonna grab your bolster or two blocks. Um, We're gonna be setting up for supine twists supported. So if you don't have a bolster, I can't really see you guys because you're in thumbnails. <laughs> You will be taking your two blocks, like so, and then just putting a blanket over those two blocks to make it a little more comfortable. And if you do have a bolster, we'll be using the bolster. And one blanket or towel, you want to bring that for your arm support. So bringing your bolster to the right side of your body. You'll gently lower down. Actually bring your blanket to the left side, I'm sorry. I got that mixed up. Hug your knees into your chest here. and roll to your right side, allowing your knees to fall on your blocks or your bolster. And when you tee out your arms, allow your left arm to be supported by a towel or blanket. Close your eyes. You can turn your head towards the left, but if that creates too much tension or stress in your neck, just keep your head neutral. We'll take three deep breaths here, getting comfortable in the pose. So breathing deeply into your solar plexus area right above your belly button. Feeling your belly rise. And feeling your belly fall. Two more deep breaths, just like that. Focusing on the sun and the center of your abdomen. Your energy center. Your power center. Sink into stillness here. Allow the weight of your body to melt into the mat. Watch the flow of your breath 
as you rest and digest. We'll be here for three minutes. Bring your attention back to your breath if you've wandered off. It's okay, don't worry. On an inhale, gently hug your knees into your chest and roll back onto your back. Allow your feet to come down to the mat. And slowly switch your blanket and your bolster, switch the sides. And as you're ready, we'll bring our knees into our chest and slowly let our legs fall to the left, being supported by our bolster or our blocks. And setting up your blanket or your towels so your arm, your right arm can rest comfortably. Neck can be turned or neutral here to your choice. Take three deep belly breaths here, breathing deep down into your abdomen. Follow the breath out. Follow the breath back in. With each breath, replenishing your vitality, your energy, and your spirit. Allow your body to rest, relax, and rejuvenate here.
toes. With each breath, surrender to the posture a little bit more. Surrender to stillness. On your next inhale, gently bring your knees up into your chest. Give yourself a nice squeeze. And allow your feet to come back down to the mat. Roll on to your right side. And keep your eyes closed here if you like. And on your next inhale, gently push yourself up. We're going to set up for a supported fish pose now. So I will show you the block version first. I'm going to take one block horizontal and one block parallel to the horizontal block. Set your blanket on top of that block. Now when you lower down on the blocks, you want to come to your mid back area so your shoulders are supported and your head is supported on the blocks. So gently finding that sweet spot and lowering down. You can keep your legs bent here if that feels good for your back but if you don't have low back issues you can start to straighten those legs out in front of you keep your gaze looking upward or close your eyes start to breathe here into the back of your heart three deep breaths On every exhale, letting go of what no longer serves you. And 
Let your body get heavy here. Feel the earth beneath you. Feel supported and cared for by Mother Earth. And as you sink into stillness, tune into your breath. Turn into your heart. On your next inhale, if your legs are out in front of you, gently flag them up, bending both legs, feet pressing into the mat, pressing your hands into the mat and gently rising up, very slowly. Move those blocks away. And we're going to set up for a supported child's pose. So bring your bolster or your pillows or a nice stack of blankets right in front of you. You might want a blanket here to support your knees or a towel or a cushion. It's your choice. You can take your knees wide here or have them more inward. It's up to you. You may want a little pillow or blanket on top of your bolster for added support. So bringing your bolster close to your knees, 
gently walking your hands out. And come to lay gently on your bolster, resting your head on your blanket or your pillow. Take five deep breaths here into the back of our heart. So we're really breathing into those shoulder blades and feeling your back lift. Inhale deeply. Exhale fully. Inhale. Fill your back rise. And exhale, feel your back fall. Three more, just like that. On your next two exhales, sigh it all out. Releasing any tension you're holding on to in your shoulders. Relaxing your neck. Relaxing your hips. <sighs> Releasing all that is no longer serving you. Allow yourself to rest deeply here. There's nothing to be accomplished. There's nothing you have to achieve right now. On your next inhale, gently turn your neck to the other side, very slowly. And settle down in stillness here. Allow your breath to take you deeper into yourself. Recharging your batteries. Replenishing your vitality.
On your next inhale, press your hands into the mat beneath you and slowly lift your head off your bolster. Very slowly unwind and come to slowly come sit on your feet. The next posture, we're going to hold a bit longer. We're gonna do legs up the wall. So if you don't have a wall, we'll use a chair. And bring a blanket or a towel to be under your bottom, just to feel a little more supported. And a blanket for your head. Now it can be a little tricky getting up here. So you're going to scoot your bottom all the way almost to the leg of the chair. And then laying down and bringing your legs up on the chair, engaging your core here and sliding your blanket or your towel right under your lower back. If you have a wall, you can come over to the wall. And we'll do the same thing. So scooting your bottom as close as you can to the wall. And letting your feet come up. Pushing against the wall and bringing a little blanket under your low back. And then possibly a blanket under your head if you have it. Get comfortable. This posture here promotes overall well-being and calms and balances your whole nervous system. And it also allows your lymph nodes, your lymphatic system to drain and gives our heart a little break with our legs up. Our heart doesn't have to pump as hard to circulate the blood. We take five deep breaths here. Hands on your belly, you're out to the side, whatever feels good for you. Really breathing into your low belly here. Open mouth, exhale. Let it all go. Relax through your shoulders. Relax through your neck. Relax your jaw. Relax your face, your brow bone. And find stillness as you tune into your breath here.
Allow yourself to just let it all go. With each breath, cultivating peace and healing. Allow yourself to feel held by Mother Earth. Allow yourself to feel cared for and supported. You are love and you are loved.
On your next exhale, bring your feet to the wall if you're at the wall and gently roll to one side. If you're at the chair, gently roll off the chair to one side. Notice how your body's feeling. Notice those little energies of your body. We'll come to set up for Shavasana. So gathering anything you need to have a nice supported Shavasana. A little pillow under your head, a blanket under your feet, maybe a blanket to cover your body, a nice eye covering if you have it. Anything that's going to help you feel more comfortable and supported. Settling in here. Noticing all the parts of your body in contact with the earth beneath you. Envisioning white, golden light streaming over your entire body starting at the crown of your head and flowing over your shoulders, over your heart, over your stomach and your hips, your legs, and all the way down to your toes. Take one last deep breath here, all the way down into your tailbone and sigh it out. Let it all go. Release everything that is no longer serving your soul's evolution. Sink deeper into Mother Earth. Let her support you and carry you. Focusing on your root chakra at the base of your spine. Bright red light spinning and pulsating. Silently repeat to yourself, I am safe to be my true self. I am secure in my being. I am grounded. I am stable. I am strong. Moving to your sacral chakra, right below your navel. Focusing on a vibrant spinning orange disc. Silently repeating, I create joyful, vibrant experiences. I have healthy boundaries. I am bountiful. I am abundant. 
abundant. Moving up to your solar plexus, right above your navel, right below your rib cage. Envisioning a golden warm sun. The center of your power, center of your energy. Silently repeating, my energy is restored. I am powerful. I believe in myself. I am devoted to healing myself and living my dharma. Traveling up to your heart chakra, beautiful emerald green jewel in the middle of your heart, spinning and beating. My heart is full. My spirit is replenished. I am open to giving and receiving love. I am open to limitless possibilities. I am infinite. Moving to your throat chakra, envisioning blue healing light. Repeating, I express myself freely. I speak my truth with kindness and compassion. I truly listen. Moving up to your third eye, right between your brows. I am connected to the ancient wisdom of my soul. I see the truth of what's really happening inside me and around me at all times. And to the crown of your head, beautiful white lotus flower. I am divine. I am connected to the Cosmic Mother, the source of all that is. I am connected to the abundant flow of the universe. Everything I need flows to me with ease. Rest in the knowledge that you are loved. 